The talk show has been recognized as the best show in the history of American talk shows. She is considered by many to be the most influential woman in the world and she became the first black female billionaire in the United States in 2003. But the path to success was not easy. This is her story. You can have it all, just not all at once. Oprah Winfrey Oprah was born in a rural town of Mississippi on January 29, 1954. Winfrey's unmarried parents separated soon after she was born and left her in the care of her grandmother. When she was a child, her family was so poor that she used to wear potato sacks as a dress. Under the strict guidance of her grandmother, she learned to read at two and a half years old. Little Oprah was so advanced that she skipped kindergarten and went straight to elementary school. By the time she was 12, she had delivered speeches at various social events. One time she earned $500 for her speech. Oprah was 9 years old when she was first sexually abused by her cousin. Within the next few years, she was sexually abused by a number of her relatives and friends of her mother. At the age of 14, Oprah gave birth to a baby boy who died within two years. I hate no mother. I became pregnant in the pregnancy. I intended to kill myself actually. I thought there's no way other than killing myself. I was just planning on how to do Surround yourself only with people who are going to take you higher. Oprah Winfrey Her father saved her life. He provided the guidance and the protection which she didn't get from her mother. When she was 16 years old, Oprah made the autobiography of Maya Angelou. I know why the caged bird sings. It completely changed her life. I read it over and over. I had never before read a book that validated my own existence. She wanted to change herself. She knew that she has a talent, so she believed. She believed that she could do it. She concentrated on her education and returned to public speaking. In 1971, she entered Tennessee State University and successfully graduated with a degree in speech and performing arts. She started her career as a news reporter, but she always felt something was missing. She hosted the TV chat show, People Are Talking, and stayed with it for eight years. Then she was recruited by a Chicago TV station, where they offered her to host her own morning talk show. Her warm-hearted personality quickly turned the program into a success. She started her own production company called Harper. In 1986, she launched the Oprah Winfrey Show, which ran for almost 25 years. Oprah used this as a platform to promote self-improvement, mindfulness and various philanthropic works. The show received 47 Daytime Emmy Awards. As part of her talk show, Oprah launched Oprah's Book Club and immensely helped the publishing world. After the Oprah Winfrey show ended in 2011, she started her Oprah Winfrey Network called. According to Forbes magazine, Oprah was the richest African-American billionaire of the 20th century and the world's only black billionaire for three years running. She is credited with single-handedly bringing more than a million votes to Barack Obama with the endorsement of him in 2008 election. She is a well-known philanthropist and through her Oprah's Angel Network, she managed to raise more than $50 million for charitable programs. In November 2013, President Barack Obama awarded the nation's highest civilian honor the Presidential Medal of Freedom to her contributions to her country.
In January 2018, Winfrey was honored with the Golden Globes Cecil B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement. There, she made a powerful speech. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women, many of whom are right here in this room tonight, and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, Me too.